I've never experienced so much rain in my life. And period. Guys, I need coffee bad this morning. I'm telling you right now. You realize waking up to an alarm clock, I'm gonna tell you something right now. Do you realize how much tension you're under? Do you realize, do you even know how tight your shoulders are all the time? Cause you gotta pay this bill or you gotta to go to work or your wife comes home. I, I don't know what happens. My, my wife comes home from work, I, my central nervous system crashes. I don't even know how to tell you. I just feel like rolling up into a ball. Cause it's like first through the window, she throws like a, a, a bitch gas bomb. Do you understand? And it just floods the whole entire house with complaints. And then she comes in with the fucking, with the gun, like they hold in a, in a Tom Clancy book. Who holds a gun like this? What is this all about? Stop it. I, I'm Vietnam era. Okay. I'm Chuck Norris coming out of the water. M60, baby. Doosh, 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 doosh. Shoot from the hip. Crying out loud. What's the point of a machine gun if you can't shoot from the hip? My lord. Oh, man. And it's, it's barking orders and you can't have the screen door open. And why is this like this, this, this and that and that, that, bah. I love it. I'm coming home from work. I see this guy, a guy, no less. He's driving this car and he's got a sticker on the back. Just married. And it was like, I don't know, two weeks ago. I said, you poor son of a bitch. And then I looked down at the license plate and the license plate says, forever starts today. And it was like the date of their, their wedding again. I said, oh my, you never saw a woman so in love with being married. I said, does this guy even realize what kind of hell he's gonna be in? I felt like going, like opening up the door, putting a cinder block on the gas pedal, and just saying, trust me, this is way better than what you're heading for. And just, just watch the car do like 90 into a telephone pole. And then I see the guy up in heaven. He high fives me. He's like, holy shit, I've been watching your life for the past 45 years. I figured I was gonna kill you. You know, I was gonna get revenge for what happened. But I, I, I was watching, I realized you did me a huge favor, bro, come here, come sit down. What's that, you want a drink? It's porno all day long on this TV. We're in heaven for crying out loud. That's right. Wait till you pull down your pants, it's like five feet long. What? Who knew? Who knew? Listen, you can keep the grapes. I don't need anybody feeding me grapes or fanning me. I, when I get to heaven, I want a five foot cock. That's right. Something's gotta go right up there. Don't you understand heaven? You can't have all good with no bad. Don't you understand? It's like, I, I don't really know how this fits in, but I'm on the, I'm on the electric pallet jack. Yeah, I know. A real resume stuffer. And you know, I, I'm, when I get on a forklift, I don't blow the horn. How about that one? In my head, every day is Sunday. I want it fucking quiet. Do you know what, when I, when I went, I started working at a warehouse and I heard the, uh, the forklifts beeping. You, you walk into a warehouse, I'm telling you right now, I'm so green, so green. It's a young kid, 17. You walk through the door, it's like, dee, 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 dee. You're like, ah, ah. And you're like, how could anybody work in this environment? And then like, you, you, you work there for like two days and you're like, oh, what, what? There's a forklift on? Somebody else comes in, you see him like, like Woody Woodpecker in that house of clocks. And you're like, oh, you know, 
Must be their first day. Second day, you don't even hear the forklifts. It's amazing how the, the brain tunes it out. And that's why you don't realize you have this low level, like low lying level of tension going through your body. It's that forklift beep that you had to eliminate. Like you, 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 your brain is using, using noise canceling technology to eliminate that. That takes energy. Do you understand why you're so tired when you come home from work? All these little bodily defense mechanisms. So I'm riding this fucking electric power jack and this guy stops me. He's Haitian. <laughs> and the, first, I, I'm going to tell you something about Haitian people love them to death. Let's start with that. But they will say something that ma makes absolutely no sense and then laugh. Like it was the funniest joke they ever heard. That's right. I was like, oh, oh Eddie Murphy must be around here somewhere. Let's, uh, let's if I heard somebody laugh that loud. They were watching Delirious. <laughs> and I'm like, what? But I just sit there and I laugh too. I go, ha 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 ha. It's just anything to get me out of here. Then we have the ni nice guy who's like 12 feet away. And automatically he hears uh, like enjoyment. He hears laughter. And he, ha he wants to be part of it. Do you understand? Because that's what a nice person wants. They want to be part of that. So they act nice to everybody. But you, you can't not act nice to everybody. Because then everybody hates your guts. Isn't this funny how the world works? Stop being nice. You, If you want to be liked, the last thing you should be is nice. You have to actually be cruel. I, t I said it before, babies. You gotta be cruel to be kind in the right measure. Cruel to be kind, it's a matter of time. Baby, you gotta be a motherfucking asshole. It's true. So all of a sudden he's like, he st he starts singing, and he goes, "I like something. Let's go dancing." I think we should go dancing. He did, he did something like that. I got a chill down my spine. Okay? It's the most uncomfortable moment that I've ever experienced existing on planet Earth. I can't even tell you how embarrassed I was for him. To, me, to be honest with you, it felt like he molested me. I said, I can never ever imagine my life getting any lower than this point in time. And I just floored the pallet jack, electric pallet jack, out of there. So yeah, I'll go, go get married. Go get, let, let me see what your license plate says in 40 years, Jack. All right? I want to be driving behind you then. Please. These motherfucking people are so dumb. I don't even know how to tell you. If my wife put that license plates around on our car, okay, I would come out and I would karate kick it off. I would do a roundhouse and the thing would go flying through the air. Then we're driving in the car the other day with me, me, and, me and my son. There's a pair of shoes, shoelaces, shoes, you know. You know how people used to tie the shoelaces and throw it over the power lines? And my son goes, Dad, Dad, why is there shoes hanging from the power line? I said, uh, you know something? I said, that's a thing, uh, you know. You'll, you, you're going to see that. I'm like, how do I explain this one? I'm like, you're going to see that around in places, but it makes no fucking sense whatsoever. Dad, Dad, why did they hang shoes from the power line? I said, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Is that, does that answer good enough for you? No, of course not. But Dad, Dad, why did they hang the power? And I'm thinking about it. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 
Leave me alone. I don't know. And I, but I, I kept on thinking about it. I, said, I don't know. I just don't know. Oh, my God. The questions. The questions. Then my wife. We're having a get together for my brother. I'm like, oh, yeah. So she's like, yeah, on Saturday, everything, oh, everything's always on Saturday. I have to work on Sunday. Can anything, anybody do anything on Friday anymore? I mean, come on. Nothing happens on Friday. Let me tell you something. Saturday's a horrible day to have off. Everybody thinks, I don't know. I don't. Listen, Sunday's the day to have off. Let's face it. Let's face it. All the fucking car shows are on Sunday. I miss all the goddamn car shows. Ah, fuck me. Anyhow. So I, I, she says get together. I'm thinking to myself, oh, we're going to we'll like have coffee, cut a cake. So I don't even bother taking Sunday off. Next thing you know, Saturday comes. I, I love this. Her brother comes up to me in the morning. Yesy, Yesy, maybe you build stairs. Maybe you build stairs. Plywood, plywood, plywood. I said, number one, there's not a staircase on planet Earth made out of plywood. So what are we talking about here? Especially these Dominican people. You ever see them walk downstairs? Please. It's like they have, they're have they walking on pogo sticks made out of dynamite. There's not a gentle thing about any way that these people walk. Sorry. Sorry. You got to hear these people go upstairs. We got them upstairs. They go up like a pack of elephants. I said, Jesus Christ. He's telling me I got to make a staircase. I don't have, I have a dog ramp coming out of, uh, out of my house. Do you understand? That my dog looks at and he thinks it's like walking the plank. It's, I built this ramp, very convenient. Uh, the, the ramp is 50 feet long. I know what you're thinking. The ramp must go straight down. No. There's like a, there's like a, I don't know how to explain it. A two degree grade to this goddamn ramp. He can barely roll a ball down it. So it's like, and it's long. He's got forever to get down. Just get down the fucking ramp already. And then he, and then he won't come back up. I so say, get out of my life. So we don't have any stairs back there because I, you know, I'd, I'd like to build a deck before I build these uh, temporary stairs. Anyhow, so he's like, oh yeah, because we're gonna have the party. He wants people to be able to come into. We're having a party at our house, right? So he wants people to be able to come down the stairs. I'm like, what kind of party is this? Number one, that I gotta build a staircase. So now I got a piece of like two by eight over here. I gotta cut up. Fucking piece of two by eights like $35. Give me a break. I gotta make this Hamish staircase now. I'm like, why am I building a staircase? Then next thing you know, I gotta go pick up chairs and tables. I said, chairs and tables? What's going on here? I'm running out, I get the chairs and tables. I, I, I love this. They get the, the house all set up. I'm installing a disco ball. I said, nah, I, I, I said, right away, I knew I made a mistake. I said, I should have I should have requested off tomorrow. I can't call in sick anymore. I got suspended for calling in sick. I know. I love my job. Because they, they call me in on a, on a Monday. My regular days off are Tuesday, Saturday. They sit me down. They're like... We got bad news for you. You're suspended. And I'm like, hold on. I'm, I'm like having an orgasm into my pants. I said, oh, yeah. I'm in my I'm just like, how many days? How many days? They go, you got to stay home. Now I'm off on Tuesday. You got to stay home Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And then I'm off on Saturday. So you, ba you basically translation. When he said, we're, we're sending you on a suspension. It was translation. We're sending you on vacation. Boner time. Boner time. And I was like, oh, oh, wow. Yeah, I know. Uh, I guess so. I guess so. All right. Man, this is going to be tough. All right. All right. I I'll see you Sunday. And all of a sudden, I went into Twinkle Toes. 
Do you understand? You know, you know when Fred throws a bowling ball, he goes up on his two winkle toes? That's how I walked out to my car. <laughs> Past everybody. And then before I got to my car, the window was down. Before I got to my car, I jumped and I floated like Bugs Bunny into, into a bed like this and I slithered right into the car and then I turned on the motherfucking the car and then I listened to Motorhead to catch his better than a chase on the way home and it's like pour me a Jack and Coke do you understand so anyway I bring in the chairs I take a shower I put on my patent pending American Eagle button-up shirt. You understand? My wife sees it and she gets so mad. I wish you could see how mad she gets. Listen, I have three patent pending American Eagle button-ups. One is pink, one is white, and one is blue. Okay, so I had, I, I had my white one on. Do you understand? Now I look like R. Kelly on the beach in that video. You know, I got to tell you something about black people. They love getting in linens, right? And going on the beach. That's like a thing. White people don't do that shit. Okay? We don't put on linens. Because to be honest with you, white people look like shit in linens. You know, it's like you put the linens on and it's like it's like that texture of linen into like freckles and, and uh, liver spots. Oh, yeah. And that pale white skin and that pale linen. It's like, what is this? The, the fucking, what is this? A cancer victim coming at me? What am I going to tell you? Black people put on linen. It looks great. It's like the contrast of the linen and the dark skin. It's like, that looks great. Hey, hell, I'd want to wear linens too. Isn't linens just an excuse to walk and get a boner at the same time? Oh my God, a boner and linens. There goes YouTube. Go ahead, de demonetize me. I said boner. I said fucking boner. Christ Almighty, every single video. I gotta show you guys pictures. Every single video is getting uh, uh, demonetized. That's all right. That's all right. Hey, hey, fuck my hole, right? Hey, demonetize me now, again. That's it. I just wanna go down to YouTube headquarters and, and, and bend over a desk so they can all use a plunger on me. That's right. Do me a favor, pierce, pierce my rectum. You know, what are you going to do? Blow through the bowels. And put a hole in my bowels while you're at it. Don't you, don't, don't stop at a plunger. Get a, get a broomstick too. Something else. I don't know. A rusty nail. What can you find? A piece of rebar. That's right. And bend it into the shape of an accordion. Anyway, I got my I got my white button up. <laughs> you gotta get the thing out of the out of the bottom of the house. I'm like, what is the thing? She'll she'll say this. You gotta get the thing. And like, all right, pause, rewind. Now what what thing are you talking about? Ha! <laughs> like like I, I'm sorry. I don't know what the thing is. The thing for cooking. The thing for cooking. Sorry. Let's let's pause and rewind again. Uh, what thing for cook? <laughs> the thing with the fit with the fire. The thing with the fire. What are you talking about? To warm up the food. A sterno tray. It's a sterno tray. For crying out loud. Now I gotta go on to, I open up the thing under the house. We got, a, we got like a little area under the house where you put stuff, right? I mean, I got Christmas lights mashed in there. I just rolled them up in a ball. And I put them, I stuffed them in underneath the floor. You have no idea. The boogie boards are in there. I mean, they're smashed in there. They're, there's vases. I don't know why my wife puts flower vases in there. And at any time you move anything, bang, 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 bang. The, the, this glass doesn't break. I don't know what this glass is made out of. These vases have fallen over so many times. And you go, oh, shit, the glass broke. 
It's like, ah, more attention. I'm tired. I need a nap. You're like, ah, don't break, don't break. Because I don't want to have to crawl under here and, and, and pick up broken glass. Like I would. I would just sweep it to the back. Anyhow, this heat is jammed in there. What do you want me to tell you? These sterno trays are all the way in the back. I said, Jesus Christ, I'm wearing a white shirt. I'm like, how come you couldn't tell me this before I took a shower? I said, you got a hook? You got a hook? You don't need a hook. I said, I need like a hook or something. I need a hook or something. You don't need a hook. And then she goes outside and pulls them out. And that was about, the, about it for the rest of the night with us. What can I tell you? Then the flood of people come in the house. I don't know who these people are. Okay? This tables, this chairs, the band comes in. I said, all right, I'm not sleeping tonight. That's number one. I love it when the band comes in. I, it, it's basically like, hey, can we hang fuck you signs on the lawn for the neighbors? I Listen, Dominicans, they'll set up a band. You have no idea. The band comes in. They were JBL speakers. I don't know. They took them from uh, a fucking Metallica concert or something. They were JBL speakers. They were taller than me. I said, since when does a fucking uh, bachata band need a goddamn... Uh, Need a, a Motorhead's roadie. This is what I want to know. You should have saw these speakers anyway. So I got to start power drinking early. I don't know what to tell you. I said, I, I, I got to sober up by, I don't know, 10 o'clock tonight. So I got to start power drinking myself. And... And bit bop boop, what am I going to say? The fucking party was going to 1 in the morning. The band played till one in the morning. Let me tell you something right now. These guys were good. They were fucking good. But I, listen, I got so drunk at, uh, at like 9.30, I go to turn in. I, I, this is how, this is how I give everybody the old Irish goodbye. I got to slither out of the room. And then every, and then my wife gets mad at me. I said, what am I going to say good night to everybody at 8.30 at night? If somebody t came up to me and they were like, ah, well, you know, I got to get to bed. You're like, oh, really? It's, a, it's sunset. You're like, ah, yeah, I know. Well, I got to get to my job. You know, I wake up at 2.45. 2.45. It's Saturday. Yeah, well... People do this to you. Try it. You're like, yeah, well, you know what? I'm, I'm just a complete loser from hell. You know, so. <laughs> okay, good night. But you're like the host. <laughs> you're the host. Where are you going? I say, yeah, I'm going to bed now. I'm going to Betty. You want to do that? With 40 more people? Ah, uh ah. -uh. It's the Irish goodbye. It's a wonderful tradition. I tell you what, I tip my hat to the Irish people for this one. I said, it's fantastic. I did, like, I don't know, a mission impossible escape. I pretend like I'm going to get water. And then I cut a hard left, like Lawrence Taylor. And then I, I smash right through this, the, the guest bedroom door. Okay? And then I walk into the guest bedroom, and to my horror... The blankets are stacked on the bed. It looks like, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. It looked like that hill in, in Close Encounters. Of the third kind. I said, oh my God, this is a nightmare from hell. The only place in the house I can sleep and here's all the jackets. And it's not, yeah, I know. Guys, you got, you got nothing better to do here? Huh? You walk the dog, okay? Walk the dog. He's got to take the shit of his life. That's the bottom line. So I'm like, oh my God. I got to move these jackets. It wasn't moving the jackets. It's knowing that everybody on planet Earth is going to come through the through the door to get their jacket. That means they're going to come in. They're going to turn on the light. And then, ha! Ah, there I am in bed. Ah! 
That it's like walking in and seeing basket case. This is the gist of it. So there we, there I go. I move all the, the, the jackets onto the... I try to do it in one shot. There's jackets skiing down the slopes onto the floor. That's right. I put it on the chair. They fall all over the floor again. I throw everything on top of each other. So now when somebody comes in, they're going to be pulling jackets. Jackets falling on the floor. Their time in the room with the light on goes up exponentially. So I'm like, oh man, I get in the bed and I'm like, I'll just go to sleep now. And next to, uh, my, my, the room, spare room I, I'm in is basically right next to where the band is. And the bass guitar is reverberating the house. Like you can't even meet, this is what I hear. And I'm like, and then, and then the occasional cackling laugh and feet on the floor like this because everybody's dancing. I'm like, holy shit. This is impossible. I'm not going to be able to go to sleep. I laid in that bed from 8.30, 9 o'clock till 2.45 in the morning with my eyes pinned open. And then I got people coming in every five minutes for a jack. I, I love this. Uh, two guys came in. They're doing like a business meeting. They came in and closed the door. I'm like, hello. Do you see the fucking sack of shit in the bed right here? And I, I got up. I said, hey, guys, I'm sleeping. Like I was like Rodney Dangerfield. Hey, I'm sleeping over here. And they were like, oh, oh, sorry. And they're looking at me like, oh, yeah, like I'm the weirdo. Meanwhile, they're having a business meeting next to a sleeping man. Don't you find that kind of odd? And then I had the drunk woman come in. She's like, and I was like, hey, baby, over here. Whooshwing. I said, I think your jacket's under here. Whooshwing. Do, 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 do. What are you looking for, the, the orange mink? Anyhow, then she's got to come in. She's like, and I'm like, oh, you're turning. And, and number one, turning on this, we have this one light in the house, that spare room light. I put like a 300 watt light bulb in it. I don't know what it is. I turn it on. It's like a plasma cutter. You never saw a light so bright. I swear to Christ, that's the other thing. That light is, is tremendously bright. It should be on the bottom of a helicopter. So when this light comes on, it's like... Oh my God, I'm Christ and cunt. When I tell you right now, I was getting up as the guests were leaving. And I couldn't bring myself to go out into the living room. I was so embarrassed. I had to wait for everybody to shuffle out. And I tell my wife, I said, babe, I didn't even go to sleep. And she was like, oh, really? And then she just went in, into bed and went to bed. Like, okay, you're on your own today, buddy. Can I get a little sympathy? I felt like calling my mother. I'm like, Ma, you're not gonna believe this. What happened, honey? Oh, they had a party last night. I couldn't sleep. Oh my God, that's terrible. I know, these Dominican people, you know what I'm saying, Mom? She's like, I know. I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do now. I gotta go to work for eight hours. Oh my God, honey, I'm so sorry. I know, I know. You want me to bring you lunch? Oh, jeez, Ma, I love you so much. That's uh, what my, my wife, she goes right to bed. I hear snoring. I fucking T minus five seconds after I even say out of my mouth, I didn't sleep last night. I didn't sleep last night. So I go there, I go to work. I got in this fear right now. I ain't having anybody's shit. All right. I, I got a rule when I'm this, 
you know, hung over and tired. Number one, I tell my boss, I said, listen, I don't bend at the waist today. So that's the bottom line there. And uh, basically, breaks are going to be increased by 5,000%. Anything else you'd like to know? Oh, and uh, you might want to call maintenance because I vomited in aisle five. But the rest of my vomiting will be dry heaving, so no concern for the maintenance guy there. Uh, it will just be agonizingly painful dry heaving. Mm -hmm. And uh, then an extreme diarrhea dump in the toilet. And that's basically it. Then I'm going to hit the road. Oh, by the way, I got to go home three hours early. Just to get past that area of where you're calling in sick. Once I get a minute past that, I'm leaving in my car. That's right. Anyway, I got I got a little spot when I'm working at work. I make like a, in one of the pallets of product, I make a bar. And I bring my bottle of water and a cup. And I'll tell you right now, if you have a hangover and you're drinking water out of a bottle, you get nowhere fast. You got to drink water out of the cup. I don't know why. It hydrates you. You're not getting hydrated when you drink water out of a bottle. I'm here to tell you. It's one of those mystical things I believe in. I'm sorry. It's the truth. I find it to be true. So, you know what? Have you fallen asleep yet? I set up my bottle of water here. And I start pouring myself a cocktail Louis. What am I going to tell you? I sit there and I pretend like I'm at a bar. I call it I, I call it Jesse's Old Town Tavern. And when people people walk by, I say, hey, can I get you a drink? They're like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, ah, I'll get you a drink. What do you want? What are you having? And I turn into old fashioned bartender. Hold on, let me clean a glass. Eh, oh, eh, oh, eh, oh. What can I get ya? What's that? A Rob Roy? With bitters. What the fuck is bitters? Who's asking for bitters? Who the fuck? Let me tell you something right now. As a man, and I'm going to speak to you guys as men here, okay? Because I don't think there's a woman in their right mind watching this program. I'm going to tell you something right now. If I don't forget what I was going to say. You got to have a drink that's simple. Listen, I, I tell you right now, I'm a Jack and Coke guy. Bruh. I go somewhere, you have no idea. You go, you, when you see a waiter, you say Jack and Coke. You see the sigh of relief on their face. They're like, this guy made my life easy. You go to a, a, part, a person's party, Jack and Coke. I got these guys coming over here. All right? They want a whiskey sour. With the, do you have an orange rind that you can, uh, that you can scrape into the, the top, like orange rind flakes? I'm like, get the fuck out of my house. Oh, and I gotta have a round ice cube. <laughs> I go over a house to get a drink, and they put an ice cube the size of a softball into my glass and then pour liquor around it. I'm like, what is this? I have the entire, I don't know, I got the, it felt like a continent resting on my lip while I'm trying to drink my water. I got Charles Atlas fucking sphere in here. What is this? I got a nine pound fucking uh, ice cube resting on my upper lip while I'm trying to drink. Well, that's so, the, the drink doesn't get full of water. All right, then take the ice out if that's such a big concern. I've been drinking it neat lately, I gotta tell you right now. I, you put ice in a drink, you're racing the ice, let's face it. You're putting the ice under the worst possible circumstance into a fucking hundred proof alcohol? This ice doesn't have a chance. Next thing you know, you got a watered down shit drink that you have to drink to the bottom. Drink it neat. Feel the burn. Come on, baby, earn it. Earn it. You mother fucks. Tell you right now. So that's what you do. You take the pressure off of people. Jack and Coke, it rolls off the tongue. Jack and Coke, it never disappoints. Too weak, 
They taste great. Too strong? It tastes fantastic. It's like, wow, I can't lose here. You get the pep from the caffeine. And you get hammered off the Jack Daniels, baby. Do you know, I always imagine when you drank Jack Daniels, you just take a guitar and you start playing harmonics on it. It's like, bang, 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 and then start, you know, doing a uh, finger picking like, like Eddie Van Halen. Oh my God. Watch, listen to the song, Dirty Movies, guys. I'm going to tell you right now. I started making meatballs last night, and I gotta tell you something right now. There's something that I do. It's when I get to my darkest moments during cooking. Do you understand? It's a guilty pleasure, if you will. When I want all hell to break loose in the fucking house, I play Man of War. Oh, you have no idea. My wife's gonna divorce me. If, if, if I ever get handed divorce papers, it's going to be during the times when I'm cooking and I start playing Man of War. It's after I have a couple of brewskis straight from the cup. Do you understand? Something just, I gravitate toward Man of War. Did you ever listen to... <laughs> let leave here right now and go listen to Man of War Defender. I tell you right now, I, I, I love the chorus at the end. I'm singing it to my son. My son's on the iPad. And the whole thing about Defender is like, to avenge me, my son. And like, run with the wind. Fight proud, my son. You're the Defender God has sent. Do do, do do. Fight proud, my son. And I'm like, I'm singing it to my son. And he's sitting there and he's looking at me like, uh, I'm trying to play Minecraft. I said, you don't understand, son. You're the defender. Fight proud. You got to avenge me, right? And I just see him hunched over his iPad like, and I'm like, oh, I know. Fight proud, my son. Fight proud. And then you listen to Holy War. Holy shit. <laughs> Listen, I love Man of War, but I can't wear a shirt. You can't, Man of War is that band you can't tell anybody you like. You like go up to a group of guys, you know, I got a hankering for some Man of War. And I'm like, oh yeah, really? Uh, hey Ted, come on, I gotta, I gotta go take a shed. Uh... Guys, uh, Ka Callahan. Reporting for duty. And just like that, we're scanning for crimes. Oh my God, do I love some man of war. Anyway, it was a banging meat, spaghetti and meatballs. What am I going to tell you? And the dog, the dog was, he smells the spaghetti and meatballs, the dog. Oh, you have no idea. His little lipstick comes out. Oh my God. What am I gonna tell you? My my son's got this thing with petting the petting the dog's balls now. Like my wife does it, she pets his balls. He lifts his leg and everything. This is like it's disgusting. This is bestiality. I said one thing I do is I never touch the dog's dick or balls. Alright? Number one, he's got piss hairs. He's got hairs that grow off the end of his dick. And they yellow from piss. I know, I'm throwing up into my pants. It's like hardened, he's got hardened piss hairs coming off the end of his dick. It's like a spike. All right. And every once in a while, he's got a shred a shred his, uh, his lipstick coming through that. Do you understand? Like, oh my God, this is a horror. 
I'm like, I don't touch that region of his body. My my wife, she comes home, she rolls him over on his back, gives him a ball rub. You don't even understand the dog freezes. He's like, oh God, never end. Please, never end. This is heaven and paradise. I said, I don't need to, to, to rub the dog's balls. Now my son's rubbing his balls. I'm like, stop with rubbing the dog's nutsack already. God almighty. How about my balls? I never see you rubbing my balls like that. And my wife, not my son. Jesus Christ. Guys, what are we doing here today? We, uh, we, it's a, it's a long one. It's a, I, I've been sitting here bullshitting, but we have something very important to talk about. All right, there's certain movies that you can't tell people that you haven't seen, like Jaws. I, like I never saw Jaws before. It's like, all right, exit. There's the exit door. All right, get out of it. All right, before I grab you by your your belt buckle and the back of your hair and throw you out myself. And The Godfather. Oh, my God. I remember it took me so long to see The Godfather. I told this guy at work, I don't think he ever talked to me again. He was an Italian guy. He said, you never saw The Godfather? He, he never talked to me again. And I worked with the guy for a while. So, yeah. And the same thing in video games. So, I'm so embarrassed to tell anybody I've never played a Twisted Metal game. And how many times do we go to garage sales and I found every single Twisted Metal game? One, two, three, and fucking four. Wasn't there four of them? I don't know. Three of them? I don't know. Never played them. Let's play them. All of them. Picture, picture time. There goes Rita. Is a controller, tap into the Edison line, pipe through the Sansui 1010, charging atomic batteries, get a lights of attrition, and move you into prime time position. Okay, say, 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 PlayStation. Yes, oh, no. Yes. Oh, God, here we go. Here it comes, guys. This is from the horse's mouth. Completely unbiased. Never played before. Oof. Here we go, 1995. Come on, where were you? Where were you, 95? One year out of high school, I was. One player. Okay, here we go. Sweet Tooth. Yellow Jacket. Dark Side. Outlaw. Thumper. Crimson Fury. <laughs> what, listen to that. <laughs> wow, look at this. It's quite a selection. Wow. Oh shit, Hammerhead, that's what, what else is there? Holy cow, this is a bit, let me try Hammerhead here. I'm probably picking the worst car, I know. Jeez, l listen to these sounds on the CD player. Oh boy. Oh Christ, how do you go? Okay. How do you shoot? How do I shoot? Is there a shoot? What do I gotta ram this guy up the road? Oh, come on. Okay, these are weapons, right? What the hell is going on here? Oh, shit. 
appreciate. Okay, we got missiles. How do I fire them? I'm trying every button. Oh, I ran the fucker over. I can't fire. Why can't I fire? Oh jeez, now I got a save, a save slot here. Resume. Oh my god, I can't figure out how to shoot. This is frustrating. Switch it. No. No. All right, we got. Oh my god, what's happening here? I gotta get out of this view! How did I get- how did I even change? I mean, the play control's not bad for this little arena. But I can't figure out how to shoot, god damn it! All right, all right. Oh boy, you Twisted Metal guys are not gonna like me for this one. <laughs> ah, twisted Metal too. here we come. Let's see, we started in 95. They are upping the intensity, that's for sure. Start tournament, challenge match, tournament, what, why the hell not? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh Jesus, Jesus. Axel, yeah, I guess so, ah, that's pretty clever. Oh my, Hammerhead again, fuck him, Warthog. Mr. Grimm, Grasshopper, oh I like that one, Mr. Grimm, Thumper, yes, all the old guys, Spectre are here, right, Roadkill, okay, I don't know, I'm throwing a Hail Mary here, guys. Maybe we could shoot in this one. We're going to Los Angeles, yeah, it's probably not, it's not going to look much different than it does now. Broken. Oh boy. Napalm. Alright, let we gotta get the button. Whoa. Whoa. Jesus. What the hell happened? Holy shit. Oh my god, that was basically like suicide. I'm selecting my weapon. Hold on. Come on. I'm selecting the weapon. How come I can't fire it? Jesus. <laughs> Leave me alone. All right. Hold on a second. How come I can't fire? All right. We selected a missile. That's how you select. This is how you should fire, right? I have no fire button. I don't know what to do. This is insane. I mean, just in my opinion, I would say this one feels so much better than the first one. 
Maybe that's known in the community, I don't know, but it's a lot bigger, it's a lot faster, and it looks better. Oh my God. I wanna shoot so bad, what's going on with my controls? It's gotta be my controls. Let me hit the booster. Where's the, where's the, where's the fucking booster? We're out of here. Well, you get a lot of turbo. Oh, there's some more. All right, all right, all right. Now that we completely ruined the Twisted Metal series, <laughs> I gotta apologize, guys. I'm sure these games are much better. I'm sure of it. It's. I'm embarrassed right now. Ay, ay, ay. We got two more to go through. I don't know. This is going to be rough. I want to be Axel this time. Who oh, is that? Jesus? Oh my god, who came up with the idea for Axel, right? That must have been a fun little boardroom meeting, huh? Oh, what is this, Rob Zombie in the house? What year we got here? Now we're 1998. Three years later. Three years later, I guess they made one every year, huh? The menu screen took a dive. Linked game, no. turn for a, for the worst in this menu select look at this maybe not uh, fire starter oh baby oh come on pick it up look at this g-string right here come on all right the deal with this old lady driving the hammerhead now what the hell are these people be Axel. We should be Axel, right? Where's the uh, where's the ice cream truck? Oh yeah. Many years ago, my father forced my father forced me into this machine. When I finally freed myself, I was permanently disfigured. My torment was not over. I'm climbing back into my machine. When I win, I will finally be free. <laughs> okay, bro. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right. Come on already. Can we get stuck? Oh, I'm in the info. I'm in info. Who goes there? Oh, yeah, okay. Welcome to Twisted Metal. Your first battleground. The game we play that we can't fire our weapon. This is much, much different. I can look behind me. Look at him. Who's behind me? Wow, this is this is much different than the other games. Oh my god, why can't I shoot? Why can't I shoot? Going up the ramp. Up the ramp. What's up here? A flamethrower that I can't shoot. Oh, we're going up this thing. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Here it comes. Ready? Right off the edge. Oh, mama. <laughs> Fuck you, asshole. I'm, cra I'm crashing into you. That's it, take that. I climb back into my machine. Why is my controls reversed? Come here, you fuck face. Oh, is she 
wheel. The controls are kind of tough on this. Maybe it's axle. All right, here we go. Copyright strike. Everybody, ha all right. Did this arm fall off? Oh my God, guys. I know, we're almost done. We're almost done. I I'm surprised to see how different they are game to game. Big differences. All right, we get it, buddies. So what are we talking about? 98, 99 now? They would travel from town to town. At its head was a man surrounded by mystery who was known only as Calypso. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Interesting. I mean, for the time, right? What to, what's the year? 99. Another year goes by. Another one by 989 Studios. They were working, huh? This is a nice little job they had going here, Twisted Metal Series. I'm sure they started out in like a basement and they ended up in like a corporate building, right? Oh, listen to this. Oh, come on, I'm down. That's right. Give it to me. Come on. Here we go. Got it, baby. Oh, okay. Tournament. Choose car. Where's the ice cream truck? Oh, th this is getting low budget, man. Oh, look at the tank. That's cool. No ice. This is getting real low budget, guys. Let's be the pizza car. Why not? Oh, now you can create a car. I think I think T Twisted Metal 2 is the best one visually so far. You know? These ones look more generated, right? Oh wow. Oh wow, okay. Still can't shoot. I don't have haunted Twisted Metal game. Oh boy. All right, this one's a little wacky. Whoa! What the fuck? Okay. Okay, hold on a second here. We're gonna shoot, right? No, we're not gonna shoot today, right? Oh boy, but he will. Where are we going? There we go, into another warp zone, ready? Oh, damn it. Go back, ready? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Whoa, what the hell's happening? This oh my god, these controls are a nightmare. Where did motherfucker go? Where is it? Oh my god. Oh, this game would be so much fun if I could shoot. Uh, here we go. I mean, now I'm stuck. How do I get out of here? I can't reverse. I can't reverse. I, 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 okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that was the... Uh, what we would call the worst review of a gaming franchise in the history of planet Earth. That's basically it. Uh, Twisted Metal, there you have it. <laughs> Don't you want to run out and buy it? <laughs> Guys, I know. If I could shoot, you know, it would be fun to, to, to hunt guys down. I'm sure it was a fantastic series, especially for the context of the day, right? Yes. Anyhow, do you realize you just tuned into the greatest video game pro program aye, 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 in the history of human civilization? And you better believe that. With a 4K face!
We'll see you next time. Guys, we got a piping hot show on Patreon. You didn't know about it? Oh, you have no idea. That's right. People write in with their problems. Huge problems. We solve them. Here's the email address. Advice is in the header to get wonderful advices just like this. Fuck protein. That's what I got to say. When you get out of the gym, your body needs sugar. Rocky Mountain sugar. What's going on, you fucking... What, what's going on with your eye tick? Now I got to take them down a few pegs. What's going on with the TikTok eye? The amount of the stress, the cortisol pump is like this. I'm just... My body's filling with cortisol. You're putting on fat. You're a lazy fuck. They're telling you lies. The, the other day, my son told me the washing machine was on fire. I ran downstairs. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? What's that? You want to stick your tongue into a bucket of 9-volt batteries? Hey, it's a party. What am I going to tell you? Guys, this is the email address. Okay, write me. You have problems. And we'll solve them. Just like... Patreons, I want to tell you how grateful I am, especially now with uh, YouTube raping me. How grateful I am to you guys for... Uh, allowing me to do the show the way we do it. We'll see you next time.